Hello, good evening. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful Always. Now I have to add always to my channel name because whenever I recommend my channel to someone um, and I say everything beautiful, no one could ever find it because there are other channels with that name which I wasn't really aware of and I love everything beautiful and I try to um, create beautiful things and make things over into beautiful things so um, I really love that name and so I did not want to change it so I hope when I recommend my channel to you now you will find it much easy much more um, easily just um, type in on YouTube everything beautiful always okay so thank you so this evening I am sitting in my guest room because my back aches a little and I'm not able to go um, to work in my sewing room. So I'm in my guest room. So what I want to do for you this evening is a swing skirt, a flare skirt. You know those skirts that just flare so nicely when you, um, you know, when you're wearing them. And, but I know you are... Uh, Maybe, you know, um, I've watched a lot of tutorials and wonder where am I going with this because there are so many that are already out there. The difference with this is that I want to show you how to use a pencil skirt, a simple pencil skirt to make this flare skirt. And by using this method, you will use less material so you can purchase one yard of 60 inches width depending on the length that you want and your size now for a slim person even like myself that would be rather flare if I use one yard of 60 inches so here I have a pencil skirt and I just have a quarter of the pencil skirt of course you know that a pencil skirt has one front and two back and um, in most cases um, the zipper is in the back and that's true unit, you know, without the, um, the, the, the band on it. So what you do, you actually will, so we'll be using a um, half, which is a quarter, because it's one, two, three, four, four parts, two right and two left. That's how your body is, okay? So we're going to have one front here and two back. And so I have one piece of the back here for the pattern. And I will use this to cut two pieces of fabric for the back. And the, the, the waist measurement is 32. And the hip measurement, which the hip is the most cases, the widest part of the body. The hip measurement is 40 inches. Now the length will depend on you. Okay. The length of this is 16 and a half, which would be a mini skirt, a real mini skirt. But you also have a midi and a maxi. The maxi is more the ankle length and the midi is below the knee. And the mini is above the knee. So we have a mini um, skirt here. And as I said, um, the waist is 32 and the hip is um, 40. So this that i have here is eight inches which is a quarter of the total measurement and the hip is 10 which is a quarter of the total measurement and so um what i'm going to be doing if you notice i have little marks here so what i've done is um divided it into equal parts okay and what i did okay was it's just about an inch and a quarter or some of them, you know, it's not really that, um, you know, precise. So what I did was to fold them like this back on themselves to get some pleats, okay? And to have it a little bit more even. So that's what I, what I have here, I folded it. So I'm gonna open it and I am going to be slitting these way to the waist okay so let me do that and get back to you so I have split this skirt okay the back of the skirt 
into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal pieces, okay? There it is, 7 pieces. So what I'm going to be doing is spreading it and show you how to make, um, how to cut the pattern for this skirt, okay? So I'm going to bring it back together and I'm going to get back to you. So here is the back pattern, okay, quarter of the back pattern, and I have doubled the fabric here, and if you're going to add the zipper in the back, you want to give it a, a one inch allowance. If you're not adding the zipper in the back and the zipper is going to be in the side, you don't need to add to the back, or if you're going to use elastic in the waist, you don't need to add any allowance in the back i won't be adding any allowance in the back here um because i just want to show you um the, the the pattern itself you know but if you're going to you just leave off that extra um one um one inch or maybe i should show you so let's leave it there okay and i'm going to spread it yes back to you so um you want to ensure that the there's a straight line here, um, so that's for the zipper. You don't want this to be to move in from where it is. Also, as I was saying before, it's very important that you pay attention to the curve. So as the more you spread this, okay, or you try to bring the curve up, the wider the skirt will be okay and you can decide how wide you want it another thing is that you want to ensure that these areas okay are the same measurement same width because you want your skirt to flare nicely and you don't want the flare to be in some area and not in others okay so you're going to be paying attention to this so what i normally do or tell my students to do is to use the tape measure so this is about two and a half Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and I could go a little wider, two and a half, and you do the same, and to ensure evenness, as I said, so that the skirt will flare, ni flare nicely. So I will be cutting this, and another thing is that when you come to the side, there's a curve there because of the shape of the hip on the pencil skirt. You don't want to curve that. You want to make a straight line down. So I'll be cutting the skirt just now. Okay. And you can add your allowance. All right. And as I said, when you come to the side here, you cut a very straight line. You do not curve it according to the shape of the straight skirt okay so there it is and what i'm going to be do, doing here i will just this one needs to come out a little bit more i will just continue to cut here until i finish and as i said the width of the skirt the width at the hemline depends on how much you spread the pattern and so forth so at the back here i'll give it a little notch here to indicate where my zipper should start okay and it's going to be seven inches so it will be somewhere there okay i'll mark that with my chalk so I'm going to remove this and I'm going to cut the front, okay? So this is what it's looking like, okay? Flare skirt, that's what it's looking like. So I will cut the front, okay? So we'll be cutting the back of the skirt. So what I did, the front of the skirt, I'm very sorry. I have doubled my fabric for the front. So if you notice there. And there is a seam right here. There'll be no zipper in the front. So this is your center front. And you're going to be placing the back of the skirt on to the front. And remember, this is the allowance for the zipper. So you're going to put it like that. 
place it like this okay on the front of the fabric as I said it's the back that I'm using to cut the front so I'm just going to cut it all around here and let you have a look so I finished cutting the front of the skirt and this is what it's looking like beautiful flare and as I said before you will not be using a lot of material to cut this look how beautiful it is look how it falls nicely okay so all you'll be doing is to press the seam in the front when it's finished add the band put in the zipper or elastic and you're good to go your skirt is finished